Welcome to Let's Play Legend, The Four Crystals of Trezere. You are here with my girlfriend, Elise. And she's making funny noises because she doesn't want to be recorded. And especially not published on YouTube. So, in the last episode, we killed a bunch of monsters and found a bunch of keys with which we opened a bunch of doors. This episode will be much of the same. So, I don't have any good surprises for you this time around, sorry. But we'll see what. No, 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 no. Yeah. And we will screw up a bunch. Just like in the last episode. Alright. Time to engage in combat with a couple of ratmen. Let's see if we can dispel these guys. Dispel their evil magics. There we go. No, don't dispel the barbarian. Sotan. Okay, dispel this guy. And move there, don't dispel there. And there we go. And uh, let's turn off the fighting off these two guys. Do not distract me while I'm playing, Elise. Woman. <laughs> woman, yes. <laughs> Do not distract me while I'm playing, woman. <laughs> Alright. Got a great sense of humor, that girl, but now she's gone shopping, so we can do our let's play in peace. Now let's see, Slizer. Silver key. We got that. In the last room. Why Slizer was struggling against unnatural forces. Also known as lag. I have been looking into it and updated a few drivers, done some test recording and I'm hoping we're gonna be good. Well, looks like Tanala's gotten some sort of berserk on him. It's taking a lot of damage though. Let's do the Ballad of Elmore. Helped a little bit. Will a battle horn do any difference now? Yes. His damage went up by a lot, it looks like. Look at all those ratmen! <laughs> Great! Well, this is going to. How are you doing experience-wise? 47, 42, 44, 46... Yeah, Tunal can take him. Knock yourself out, Tunal. They're all yours. In the meantime, let's turn off the combat mode. On the rest of these guys. And, uh... So then got inventory space, that's good. So let's check this chest. Open chest. Um, take whatever's inside. Um, don't think we got anything. Alright. Take that bag of gold. So, yes. As I was saying, I've been looking into lag problems and uh, haven't experienced any more lag. And I'm hoping it's fixed now. And there we go. Good job, Tunal. Nothing there. Nothing there. Some bags of gold on the floor. A lot of bags of gold on the floor. Yes. We have a bit of gold now, we could go out and buy those missing tunes. But we don't need to, no, no rush. Aha! This room. I remember this room. I was stuck here for the longest time because I couldn't figure out how to hit that square there. Which is what it's all about. It's a healing square and... Uh, Yes, I tried throwing this this sort of damage 
only with a healing component, you know, two missiles, and combining with the forward and everything, and nothing worked. It's a bit silly though, because you'd think that, yeah, no, that didn't work. Well, the forward rune, it actually brings the missile past the table, but it flies over this square and hits the black area here, and it gives us no effect, because a missile has to fly at least one square, so if it's created from this square, it'll have, it'll have to fly from this square to another square, and yeah, that doesn't work. And you can't put two of those um, forward components together. Aren't you wearing your bone, Sotan? Alright, so the solution here is to make a missile surround yes, nightshade and healing and there we go and we have to go over here or here I think I don't think the spikes block our casting so let's just shoot at this square and there we go and that gave you some insight in how uh, surround rune works as well didn't it because I don't know if you noticed but I hit this square and the healing spell activated on all the squares around but not the one in the center so if we want the spell to affect the center square as well we have to use it other components before the surround room. So you can design different effects like that. I have no idea what that lever did, but I'm sure we benefit from pushing it. So you found my secret garden. Very well. Pass the flames and carry on. Alright. So I guess this opens the door. That's will let us pass over through the flames. And this button opens this door. Yes. And we're back here. Oh! Fighting time! Oh, he was hidden. Go take that wizard. Backstab him. There we go. Oh, nice those big numbers. Come on guys, Spizer is paralyzed, you have to do this yourself. Cells. Good. And we go to the next room and he's no longer paralyzed. <coughs> so, I got some comments on my last video asking how much experience I have with this game, how far I've come and stuff like that. Well, I, I don't know if I said that earlier, but uh, I... Okay, I'll wait a little bit with that. There's a button here, open this door and we're through! Yes. Oops. Yes, well, I own the uh, demo version of uh, this game. Uh, I played it on my father's Amiga and it must I must have been perhaps, I don't know, 12, 14, around that age. So it's a good 16 or 18 years ago. And uh, the demo version is actually completely different from this game. What am I doing? Yes. This is what happens if you try to do too many things at once. <laughs> I don't think I ever finished the demo version though. Perhaps once uh, at a later age. I'm not sure. Iron key. So is this door locked with an iron key? No, it's locked with a crystal key. 
So we'll have to go looking for the iron key law. If it's not this law. Let's find out. <coughs> And so the DOS version that I have now, I uh, played it much later. Uh, it's only a few years ago since I picked up this game and I have to admit that I haven't come very far before. I, I've been this far, but I think the game is pretty big and I don't think I've been halfway through. But I have a good feeling about this now. The reason I didn't finish the game when I played for myself was, uh, well, you know how it is. You don't have time to play as much as you like, and uh, it sort of grows cold, and you don't know exactly where you are, and yeah, it just... Ouch. That, I'm sorry, Slizer. I did not mean to nuke you. More healing and let's do this and for good measure put on the march of the bold ones looting time gold gold nothing <clears throat> I cannot carry anymore. We should use this stuff. Hero potion, give it to Slicer. Okay, wrong area. A scroll. Anything else? No. And nothing there. Okay. Oh, wait a minute, was that it? Check the table, Slizer. Uh, dragon ring. And we're full. Full of stuff. Okay, what do we have here? Anything we can get rid of? Well, we're really close to the exit, so we might as well go out and sell some stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Check how much money we have. Seven thousand. That'll be a good few runes. We could pick up that anti-mage rune. Yeah, let's get the runes first. Oh, okay, well, we can sell. No, okay. The minstrel's still over at Leacoat. Let's hope he moves at midnight. I don't know when he moves, but... Balenhalm. Okay. Where is that? It's... there. Okay, let's just do it. Because I want those two last tunes. One of them is for increasing the intelligence bonus for the entire party. It's good for when they are going to use scrolls and stuff. Gives us a much better effect from it. And um, it's especially good for Sovan. Makes his spells a lot more potent and... Yes. Balenarm. Tavern. Minstrel. Adieu, sweet Dullard. That's the Inks song. Dance of the Fairy Queen. It gives, gives us speed. So that's reactions in combat. Attack speed, perhaps? And, uh, yes, I don't know what. Supposedly good for making our party more responsive, as it says in the manual, or is it the guide? I don't know. <clears throat> yes, 
Either way, I want that anti-mage rune. Tree had will. The ancient. So the first time I uh, got the quest of going to the Dark Tower from this guy, I accidentally clicked, so I didn't get to read the mission text, and I don't know how it, you can get that text back again, so I didn't know what to do, so I had to find out what to do on the internet by searching for a guide. So yeah, bit of bad programming there, I guess. Anti-mage, 3,000 gold, well worth it. How about some paralysis? Yes. Thrall? We can afford that. Let's do it. Only three spells left. Teleport? Great. I'm going to like to have that eventually. Disrupt, 15,000. Ouch. Vivify, 20,000. Yeah, so 4,000 gold for the teleport, and uh, that's going to be what we're, we can afford of runes. For the time being. Did really no enemy banners appear at the previous midnights? I guess not. Or am I just not paying attention? What am I selling? I am selling a mithril dagger. Good. Mithril Blade. Awesome. And Chaos Gloves, because we already have a couple of those. Well, at least one. Oh, there's a Mithril Blade as well. And... Leather Buckler. It's hardly worth it. Ah, that's better. Nice price. And uh, Slizer is using that blade, so... Not gonna sell that, don't worry, Slicer. Nothing to sell on to now. I can sell some of these things I don't get. I can't use them all anyway. They're so good! Okay, how about Taichan Crane? Got anything we can sell? A mithril helm. Well, this didn't, didn't free up... Wow, well, we have the... Oh, okay, we must have gotten the crystal key. Okay, but the other way, yeah. Um, that didn't free up as much space as I'd hope. So, we definitely shouldn't be buying anything. We just want to see what they have. Okay, sun rings, cloud rings, cloud wand, we can buy this stuff. Perhaps at a regular basis, if we ever need from the artificial. Oh, I think I saw something. We can sell this one. Um, like that. Blood Helm, what does that do? I don't know. Resurrection Scroll, always nice to have that. To sell all this stuff. Okay, so this is the mandolin. It gives plus two dexterity to Tunal, and this gives plus two constitution. I don't. No, I want to hang on to that. Because when it levels up, I think I can equip it and get more hit points that way. So I'm gonna try that. Moon amulets. We have another, haven't we? No? Okay. Alright. Let's sell that healing scroll. No, we can use it in a fight. I'm just gonna start using a lot of items. I don't think we get too much for it either. No, 27 gold, that's nothing. Hammering? Mm, a bit more. No, I'm just gonna 
go completely nuts and use all of this stuff. One hawk banner. Is that all they have? How's that tower doing? Heavily defended? Heavily? Heavily? Yeah, the horde is losing badly. That's good. <clears throat> Kill it, John. And we're back. Um, Warriors Awakening. And let's go through the door behind the flames. Beyond the flames, I should say. Who's got the crystal key? Taijun Crane. Open sesame. Okay. Intersection. Rock. Take rock. Nothing there. Fights. Berserk. Tunal Berserk, not Slicer. Ah, Assassin is getting hurt. Stand still, guys. Let the Assassin assassinate. Okay, do your dance. What do I care? Just a moment. Sorry, just my phone going off there. And they're dead. All the evil ones are dead. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay, our wizard goes in first. That's usually not a good idea. Don't move. Where do you think you're going? Yeah, he got away. Okay, let's change the tune. And uh, hide in shadows. And dispel. Come on, stand still. There we go. Just nuke him. Okay. Slicer ate that nuke. <laughs> um, take Slicer. Yeah, then take Slyzar's corpse. Good. Because you killed him, so you'll have to carry him. And he's not a lightweight either. He's a freaking berserker. 400 pounds of muscle or something. So, that's... Oh, yeah, it's just a dead end. But we'll call this an episode, and I'll see you in the next one, I hope. Until then, bye-bye.